big, strong Murdoch. Winter was coming to the end of Sodor. Everyone was getting ready for the cold weather. Thomas and Percy delivered coal. Henry cleared the freight cars of firewood. And Farmer McCall was building a shed for his cows to keep them warm. Farmer McCall needs lots of bricks, iron, and concrete. Boom, Sir Top and Hat. I need a strong engine to fetch them. I can do it, Sir. Puff Murdoch. You're not as strong as I am, wheezed Spencer. I'll do the job, Sir. Spencer and Murdoch were almost a different size. But Spencer always boasted that he was the strongest. Sir Topham had thought for a moment. Spencer, you can do it. Murdoch, you can deliver the empty freight cars. Empty freight cars? Wheezed Murdoch. Never mind, Murdoch. To the Neville, we know you're big and strong. You could pull ten cars of sand, couldn't you? Beat Dennis. Yes, I could," chuffed Murdoch. "You could pull twenty cars of coal," wished Emily. "I suppose so," hooted Murdoch. "You could pull fifty freight cars," wished Neville, "of iron and steel, because you're a big, strong Murdoch." "Big, strong Murdoch," huffed Spencer. "What nonsense!" "You'll see," tooted Neville. "Ha!" Spencer wished grandly, and he set off to fetch the bricks, concrete, and iron for Farmer McCall. Murdoch had delivered his empty freight cars. How can I show Spencer that I'm big and strong? He stammered sadly. Then, Murdoch saw Dennis. Look, Murdoch! Oh, Dennis! If Spencer sees you pull five heavy freight cars, he'll see how strong you are. Murdoch backed up. He pulled the freight cars out of the sidings. Look how strong Murdoch is, Spencer! Honked Dennis. Put those freight cars back, Spencer wished. Those are for Farmer McCall. I am collecting them later. He's not as strong as you are, big strong Murdoch," oiled Dennis. "I like being big strong, Murdoch," Murdoch thought. Murdoch saw Neville waiting up ahead. "Look, Murdoch," tooted Neville. "There are lots of heavy freight cars. Here comes Spencer." Whistled Neville, and here comes Big Strong Murdoch. Who did Murdoch? Then there was trouble. The freight cars were very heavy. Once Murdoch had started them rowing, they wouldn't stop. Help! cried Murdoch. Diesel Ten brought the breakdown train to lift Murdoch back onto the track, and he also brought Sir Topham Hat. Murdoch, boom, Sir Topham Hat, take those hail bales back to where you found them, one freight car at a time. Yes, sir," wished Murdoch sadly. Murdoch had never felt so miserable. Spencer had delivered the last freight car to Farmer McCall's new shed. Now, Spencer, boom, Sir Topham Hat, you can go and collect Farmer McCall's cows. Farmer McCall's men had loaded the cows into Spencer's freight cars. Spencer was feeling very proud of himself. Pah! Poor old Murdoch, he laughed. 
He's not Big Strong Murdoch at all. Spencer set off. He was laughing so much that he didn't see that the car doors hadn't been shut properly. Hello, Murdoch. Whistle Spencer. Hello, Spencer. Who did Murdoch? And then he noticed something. All the cows are leaving their car, Spencer. Murdoch puffed. Oh no! Wheezed Spencer. What am I going to do? Then Murdoch saw something else. Some of the cows were eating the hay bales on his car. Suddenly, an idea flew into Murdoch's funnel. Murdoch jumped slowly along. The hungry cows followed him. They wanted to eat the hay from his freight car. They follow Murdoch all the way to their new shed. Farmer McCall was very pleased. That night, Neville and Dennis spoke to Murdoch. We are sorry we got you into trouble, Neville tooted. I shouldn't have wanted to be big, strong Murdoch, hooted Murdoch. Now you're even better," whistled Emily. "You really are a very helpful, Murdoch." Murdoch smiled. "Even the strongest engine needs a little help sometimes," chuffed Murdoch. "Don't you agree, Spencer?" Spencer's face went as red as a sinnoh.